three hits tonight. I think you're a triple shot on the cycle. What was working well for you to play tonight? Uh, just trying to stick with my approach. Um, did a lot of studying over the pitcher um, coming into the week and did a lot of work in early hitting and uh, throughout the week just trying to stick with it and stay through the ball. How easy was it for you guys to you know, come out hot like this after you know, dropping the series last week? It's pretty good. It's definitely a confidence boost, but uh, at the same time, uh, I mean, the game's over now, so we got to get ready tomorrow to, to face their, their best arms. Um, and we're going to get their best shot regardless, so we got to be ready to come out tomorrow and do the same thing. Your home run to straightaway center was just barely over the wall. Did you think it was going to go over? Uh, not at all. I, I asked the second base umpire, I was like, did that go out or like what, what happened? And he was like, I don't know. And then I had to like turn and look at the first base umpire and I saw him like doing this and I was like, oh, I guess so. I didn't know at all. I know every game is different. Every series and team is different, but started a hot last week and then you know, lost the last two. What needs to change, I guess, with this game? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't really say anything needs to change. Um, I just think we just need to keep playing. You know, it's a game of baseball. Some days, you know, you're just it's just not going to uh, go your way. So you just got to keep pushing, take it day by day. How uh, cool has it been to see Reese Chapman kind of like really improve from last season, make a big impact so far? It's been awesome. Uh, me and him have, have become really close because uh, me and him mainly uh, get reps in right field together uh, throughout the fall. And then, I mean, me and him were in here in the fall, like after practice, getting extra reps, hitting together. Uh, so it's, it's been pretty cool to see him kind of, you know, start to come out of his shell a little bit and uh, just do what he does. Because, you know, we all knew that we had it in him. And, I mean, the only thing he needed to do was just trust his, his work. Um, what's, what's the outfield competition been like this year with you, Hunter, Dylan, Reese, all of them? I mean, it's stacked. You know, um, you can have a different lineup every day for people in the outfield and you're still going to, you know, everybody's going to produce. So. Um, the main thing is just coming in every day and uh, preparing as if you're going to play every day, regardless of what the lineup, uh, is, whatever's written out on the lineup. How else on how AJ Tazi did tonight? I mean, he just did what he does, honestly. Um, we had to face him a lot in the fall, so it's pretty nice to see other people have to go through the same struggles we did. But he threw. Uh, I mean, he, he did everything. What he does every time he goes out on the mound, and that's just compete. So uh, it's been pretty good. Mission primarily getting reps in right field throughout your career. How comfortable are you in center field right now? Uh, pretty comfortable. I've been playing out there a little bit more recently, so I've kind of started to get uh, pretty comfortable um, with it. What's the biggest difference, I guess, um, you know, in playing right and in center? Obviously, you can go both directions. Uh, I guess the biggest difference for me personally is just um, having to communicate with both left and right shoulder. Like, usually, uh, if I'm in right, I'm communicating with Hunter or whoever's in center field. Like me and him are just talking, but now in center, I have to make sure that I'm communicating with both and have them checking in and, you know, uh, realizing the situation and know, knowing what's going on. Anything else for KC? All right, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.